going to do is just open up a basic square file okay. to to um, to start just composing your front cover. So what I do is I want you to just go uh, file new and um, we remember when we were talking past yesterday about make the file bigger than a 12 by 12 because if you need to print it up massive for like if you need to make a big A1 poster of the artwork there's no point having a it, that's basically your size of the file. So we're going to work at 32 by 32 in centimeters. Okay, I'm not saying you yeah. have to just turn it down to 32 each. This is just my personal experience of it that it's just good to have it. Now see your resolution is pixels per centimeter. Change that to inch. And I see the way it's 72, that's your standard photo. For print you need that to be 300. So anytime you're making a new file, always make sure that that's at 300. Otherwise, um, you'd be working away like, oh, computer's really fast and the graphics are great, you print it and it's not pixels. So just press OK. So have you got your photos there? Uh, no, I still need to. I still need to. Yeah. Okay, if you have a look for your photos, and what you do then is just bring them all up in Photoshop, we'll have a look through and see how you want to start composing them. Okay, if it doesn't delete, what you can do is drag it down to the bin. Yeah. And bring your, your name layer up to the very top. If you want to image size, it's just if you're ever doing it. Go up to image, uh, sorry, edit image size. 21 by 21, that's perfect. That's a good card, that's a good size. You basically made a square out of uh, an A4 page, was it? Yeah. So what you do is just drag it so it's above layer 3. Yeah. And what you do is, see layer 3, just rename it by double clicking on the actual name of the layer. Okay. And then call it drawing. It's just so you can organize your files, because the drawings are going to be so tiny yeah. that you might be able to click on it with the auto select. Okay. So here's your, your pen tool. Oh. No, that's a slice, the one underneath it, yeah. So what we're going to do then is, why is, oh, no, what we've done wrong is that's actually it. You've got a, a text layer by mistake. So what we do is um, just delete that layer again. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. And line drawn over it with tracing paper. Scan the tracing we'll paper. Put it on the Photoshop. Put it on that's, the, that's the yeah. back yeah. selected yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Um, you need to change the and then it's 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 Yeah, have a, have a go at the drawing. Be you just just the yeah, you could do that as well. Or you could actually mm. Google a good picture of a bird, bring it to Photoshop, make a new layer, and trace over the layer. Mm. The exact same way you made a layer there, and then yeah. and just drop it into the other one. How would you do the drawings? Yeah, um, well, you need the pen tool anyway for a start, but what I would do is first thing is make a new layer. So, for interest of safety, it's up here. Layer, new, new layer. And just press OK. Now, another rule of thumb that, um, for, for anyone who's, who's listening is always try and keep, see your two, you do a new layer here. Your text layer is underneath. Bring your text layers to the top where it's fine. And line drawn over it with tracing paper. Scan the tracing we'll paper on Photoshop. That's the, that's the bat selected out on the You need to change the contrast. Yeah, have a, have a go at the drawing.